it now. I said I don't want to see this. For this is Biafra land. And the school belongs to Biafra people. And the people going to the school are Biafra. This is no more the flag we make use of. We have our flag. Where is the flag of Biafra? This is what we need them. Are you moving out there? Are you moving out there? Yeah, this is what we made you from. This is Biafra flag. And we are in Biafra land in Anambra. So we need our flag anywhere. They are we are in Biafra land. So it shall be replaced with the Biafra flag. That's what we need. You see, that's the page where we are right now. If you don't know, you don't know. Removing Nigerian flag, replacing it with Biafra flag. That's the page. Any other thing you are talking about, you are on your own. Because when the rain starts, you won't be able to run into any house. <laughs> Biafra is our hope. This man and his group, God will bless them. The enemies we have are the politicians. Those that are benefiting in this bloodletting, those that are benefiting in this economic crisis, people like Eme Fiele, mm, they are the ones. People like Omahi, people like Kopo Zodema, they are the ones benefiting in this criminality called Nigeria. Rocha Sokoracha, all of them, they said, is it, is it not when we ask you to go that you will go? And that is why they are tying knots here and there. The highest knot that has been tied so far so good is the one that Hopo Zodema did, sponsoring 200 people to Mecca with government money. Imo State is very dry. Imo State has, in fact, it's very dry when it comes to economy because the economy does not consign the people in that region. It only consigns Hopo Zodema and his gang. These are the people talking about economy you see now if we start or if we continue with Mazin Simon Ema doing everything he wants us to do that will humiliate Nigerian government that will make them to say let us sign these people out that will make them to say no, we don't love you again. We cannot condone all this your nonsenses because they will call it nonsense. As na wata choban kia obola jomwa, I na chon kai. We are bad people. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Yes, they call us bad people because we are wise. We know our right. We know when they insult us, and we know and we don't take insults. That's why we are bad people. When it, if it's not for selfish reasons. When a region starts bringing down Biafran flag, I mean Nigerian flag, bringing it down, marching on it, you know, trampling on it, and replacing it with Biafran flag, what are you still doing with that region? What will you be doing with that region? Or why won't you negotiate with that region? But no, they don't negotiate with us. They negotiate with Boko Haram. They negotiate with bandits. All we get in, re in return from the government that say we are together is gone short. But Chukwu Kikabiyama is doing it. The kind of water water they are receiving. The kind of death records they are receiving now is far too much. And I thank God because of Biafra Liberation Army, because of Eastern Security Network. I thank God for Simon Eba. I thank God for Omada. I thank God for good will people the Biafran people who are contributing to make sure that we are not empty-handed that we have something to protect our land when they see you with guns their minds keep because normally for a very long time they disarmed our people invaded us raping the women killing maiming kidnapping and doing a lot of things Immediately they see us with gun. Hey, wahala, problem. They now devised another method. And what's that method? They now used army and police and DSS. They now use men in uniform.
to kill our people, to annihilate us, to make sure that the young men are gone down, no matter what. That's what they are doing. And God has been the one sustaining and making sure that evil race it will not go to extent. They will not eradicate us because that's their target. So what are you still doing with One Nigeria? That's the question. If you are still believing in One Nigeria, then you, have, you should have yourself checked. Your head should be checked if you are still in your right senses. But if you are not validating One Nigeria, what are those things you're supposed to do? When you are asked to move, move. When you are asked to sit at home, sit at home. When you are asked to do anything, obey the command and control and be on guard. Prayers. Do not sell your brother. Do not share information. Do not give information. All right? Because they will come to you telling you that this your brother is a kidnapper, blah, 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 blah. That is not true. They are trying to get the contact of your brothers and sisters so as to incarcerate them without trial so as to kill them so as to make sure there are no youths in our region that's what they're doing so you have to apply senses to whatever you're doing ask the person that is asking you a question about your brother what happened why are you asking me about my brother then you will listen to him then use your wisdom apply your senses so that they will, you will not unknowingly sell your brother forget about those people that are you know accepting islam as their way of worship i think they will need to relocate mm -hmm. because that will not be condoled they will need to relocate to where will suit their worship because their worship is chaotic. It is chaotic. Yes. You will know that the killings going on both in South, North, East is perpetrated by these Islamists. They are the ones. Can't you hear Sarah Dokubo telling you how many of you have died? They, they pour blood like water. Chaotic religion. That's what you want to accept? Islamization is on. If they come to you privately giving you millions of naira for you to accept, will you accept what is not bright for you? Where there is no hope, will you accept it? Because you are hungry now? Tomorrow will be better, my dear people. My dear people, tomorrow will be better. So I want you to stay glued while we unveil more and more. Thank you.